Hi everybody. Uh, this is going to be my first unboxing video. Uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing and give you a little bit of a rundown on the actual operation of the Hi-Tech X4 Micro Multi-Charger. This is the Hi-Tech X4 Micro Multi-Charger. Uh, made for charging single cell 3.7 volt LiPo batteries such as the ones that I have here uh, that are for things like this uh, small blade inductrix uh, quadcopter or micro helis or I do actually have a, a micro airplane uh, it's a park zone vapor uh, all of those things and, and many other things use the same type of battery uh, AC DC input I'll go ahead and unbox this thing and then we'll give you an, a rundown of exactly how it operates Okay, inside the box we have, of course, the four channel multiple type battery charger. Uh, also in the box we have the uh, wall socket AC adapter. Uh, also comes with the 12 volt DC adapter. Now you can use these with the DC power supplies or a 12 volt DC battery. Makes it very versatile so you can use it out in the field if you needed to charge it off your car battery uh, or if you're at home or have somewhere where you got AC power or you happen to have a, a, a piece for your vehicle where you can actually, it's called an inverter, where you can get AC power out of your 12 volt battery and use that as well. Uh, you can also use it anywhere you got uh, 120 volt outlet power. Uh, also in there we have a couple of adapter cables for different types of uh, single cell LiPo batteries. This is for the small ones, this is for a little bit larger single cell battery for other types of helicopters. Okay, in comparison, we're comparing to, this would be the, the charger that comes with the, the E-Flight blade uh, inductrix. Basically, just plug your single cell LiPo into it, straight into a USB port, charges your battery, gives you very little information, but it is uh, quite quite functional, does the job. I prefer to have something that gives me a little bit more information, if at all possible. Uh, that's part of the reason that I bought the X4 charger. Uh, we'll get this thing out and we'll get it plugged in and give you a little bit better rundown on what the functions are that actually brought me to buy in this particular model. Okay, with the with the display lit up here, now you can actually kind of see what's going on here. You have the adjustability to adjust the input amperage for your batteries from 0.1 all the way up to one full amp per battery. I think that's a neat uh, ability that a lot of other chargers do not have. Uh, it's part of the reason that actually brought me to wanting this particular charger. So let's get head, go ahead and get started and. Uh, Let's charge one of the batteries and see what we got. Using this adapter cable right here, just plug this cable in. Plug our battery right into the other portion of it. As soon as you plug this battery in, uh, you have the ability to push the button one time and it will tell you what the what the battery has in it. it says 4.19 which means that it's nearly fully charged which I knew that already uh, so in charging this battery we're, we're gonna go ahead and adjust our amp rating this is a 150 milliamp hour battery which is gonna give us about I'm a slow charge kinda of person I'm gonna do a 0 .15 0 .15 and then all I have to do is hold this button in as soon as I hold it in red light comes on telling me that the battery is operational the, the charger is now operational and then it's going to rotate between, between three settings that's going to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on with your battery first one is going to be the voltage 4.2 then it's going to give you the amperage that it's charging at which is 0.5 and then the next one is going to be the amount of milliamps that it's actually put into the battery so that, that's the, the rotating three screens that you get once the battery is actually installed I think that's pretty cool and so let's go ahead and mess around with another battery while this one's charging and see what kind of other things that we can get this battery here already marked with an X 
I know that this is a problem battery. This one does plug directly in. I get it on there, right? As it plugs in, we're going to hit the button one time. It says it's at 3.93 volts, which it, it kind of is, but it's really a bad battery because I've already tested it through flight times and things like that. Uh, as you can tell, our other one, light is turned to green, went to full on the screen, which means that that battery is fully charged and ready to go. Uh, hit the button one time, which actually turns that channel off and tells you 4.2 volts. It put zero milliamps out in it, and it's actually full. So I'd already charged it previously on another charger, so I knew that it was going to be full anyway. So this battery's already good to go. We can go ahead and remove it. The channel's now open for something else. So uh, we'll go ahead and grab one of these other batteries over here. This is an older uh, park zone. And plug it in. Check, see what we got. 3.92. So, once again, about the same as the one that's marked with the X, and I don't think this one's far behind it. It's probably bad as well. So, just to give you an idea, we'll go ahead and charge it. 3.96, and see, it's it's charging it like 3.4.15 4 already. It's charging at 0 0.06 amps. And now it's at 4.20, which basically is telling me that it's fully charged. It's not fully charged. The thing's really no good. I, I know it's no good. And so uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a, an example here to show you. Uh, when I originally pulled this battery out, it was actually below the threshold of charging. I think it showed like one point something. Uh, it was way too low. Uh, so basically what it did is it actually showed this which is an error. Uh, anytime you get an error on this charger or a battery that's below the threshold, you will get this, uh, which is a hyphen, 33 hyphen. It just tells you that the battery is no good. And so, regardless, it, it will actually let you know whether the cells are actually good or bad. And uh, it does actually give you the voltage, the amperage in which the battery is being charged and the amount of milliamps that are going into it. So if you run a battery fully dead, like the one that I had on there before, the 150 milliamp, you can literally check to see how much charge goes back in there. If the thing only accepts 100 milliamps, do you know that a third of your battery capacity is no longer usable? So, just so you know, this is a, a charger that gives you the capabilities that a lot of other chargers don't. It's the reason that I actually went with this one specifically and uh, I wanted everybody to see a little bit about the functionality of the new high-tech X4 micro multi charger. Uh, I think it's an awesome buy. Uh, this thing's going to run you about 50 bucks and uh, once you get it, you're set. All of your single cell micro batteries, you can charge them all. You've got the capabilities of several different types. Like I said, this adapter cable will go right in here. Uh, you can charge other larger single cell LiPo batteries uh, right off of it. I think you're good to go. Uh, that gives you a little bit of a rundown how this thing actually functions. and. Uh, and I hope everybody enjoyed the video. This is the first one that I've done, and there's going to be plenty more to go. So keep an eye on the channel because there's a lot more entertaining RC action and product reviews to come. Thanks again for watching.